you must have been uh, happy when Carlos his <coughs> disciplined performance. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <coughs> Carlos again. If you're going to talk about Carlos and Bloods, you have to talk about Carlos being in the exact same situation as Bloods was in his first fight. Carlos performed like I've never seen a Pucks experienced athlete perform. Again, what do you put that down to? Obviously a very good opponent, but you, there's some factors and some things that happened in that fight that like, you can't put down to the opponent. You have to put on Carlos. And when it comes down to it, Carlos, again, wasn't able to deal with that moment and those three letters and those lights the way that he should have, which is really surprising for me, considering these guys are already seasoned professional fighters. Um, <coughs> So, you know, like, there's some psychological things going on there that we needed to work on. And um, <clears throat> Carlos needed to just, you know, the word for Carlos, like Carlos just needed to come out like he owned that place, you know. And supreme Israel-type confidence where he, the second he stepped in that cage, um, you know, he was the landlord. You know, he was the owner of that cage here. That was his property, and no one else was coming on that property without him having a say, and that's what he did. And uh, very well-disciplined performance. Um, obviously, there were some things that we wanted, we, we could have done a bit more, but, um, you know, like, he's dealing, we're also dealing with the demons of the last fight. So, um, we comfortably won that, and, um, you know, the next, we'll build on that, and then the next fight, you'll see an even better Carlos and so on and so forth so his job was just to come out to come out into that cage like he was the king of that stadium and the king of that cage and he he, he did that and that showed so i was very happy with carlos's turnaround from that very first fight at least psychologically yeah and on to the big one <coughs> and um similar performance i thought uh, I, I uh yeah i i didn't see any uh closeness of that fight at all. Yeah, I thought it was a bit of a virtuoso performance. I thought it was, uh, you know, like, <laughs> what we do is we, 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 we practice the art of fighting, and the art of fighting is to hit and not get hit, okay? There's people that are going to say, well, Israel got hit a lot. So, nah, like, Israel doesn't get hit a lot. <clears throat> What you think is a hit, what the average person thinks of a hit, when, when the punch hits you and you roll this way and you use your shoulder to glance it off and all these little subtle things that are going on, like the average person doesn't know about those things. So I thought he, he used, used the art of fighting to its nth degree. Like he, he was able to uh, hit and do damage and uh, not get some of the damage back. And ultimately, um, ultimately, I didn't think it was close at all. No. Um, I thought he, he, I thought you could it, it, give Robert one round, but the other four were comfortable. Um, the strange thing is that happens between fighters and corners and other coaches when you're so close. That strange kind of vibe and relationship. It never felt like we were in any danger of losing. In fact, you, uh, the vibe. The vibe that I was getting off Robert and off his team is that they knew that they were falling behind and they were getting more and more desperate. Um, and that's just the vibe I got and I could be completely off. Um, but yeah, we just, I mean, it, the judges got the decision right. Um, and uh, we're happy and we're moving on, yeah. Um, and, and well done to Robert, he was able to not get knocked out this time. He was, yeah, only just by the skin of his teeth. Because he was on very, uh, he was on very uh, rubbery legs there for a while. Yeah. Um, anything lined up for Blood and Carlos quickly? And what about uh, Izzy as well? While we're on the subject? Mm, not really, but um, they've already kind of like uh, alluded to me that they're ready to yeah jump on it and get in there again, uh, especially Bloods. 
if you're going to say there's any benefit coming out of a loss like that, he got choked out and he's got no injuries. <laughs> and the, the loss was st- the, like it happened so fast. He got choked out. He barely, uh, you know, like he, he's got no injuries. He's been richly, he could have fought the next day. So um, if you want to say that's a positive, then let's just <laughs> let's let's take that out of it at least. Can't take much else. <laughs>